For over 4,000 years, it remained silent, carved into stones, etched on seals, scattered across the ruins of an ancient world, a language no one could read. A civilization as vast as Egypt, as advanced as Mesopotamia, but without a voice. The Indus Valley Civilization, their script, a mysterious pattern of symbols, shapes, and signs, has defied every attempt at translation. No Rosetta Stone, no linguistic relatives, just fragments of meaning lost in time. Until now, in a lab filled with servers and code, artificial intelligence has done what no human could. It has cracked the code, line by line, symbol by symbol. And what it reveals is not just language, it's a worldview, a system of thought, a truth that could reshape the timeline of human history. What did the Indus people really say? What secrets have we misread for centuries? And how does a machine understand a voice that's been silent for millennia? Long before the pyramids reached for the sky, before Babylon built its ziggurats, the Indus Valley civilization flourished. Around 2600 BCE, cities like Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa rose from the dust. Planned with mathematical precision, equipped with drainage systems that rival modern engineering, more than five million people lived in these cities, spanning over a million square kilometers. They traded with Mesopotamia. They crafted intricate jewelry, created standardized weights, and built homes with private baths. And yet, the most powerful artifact they left behind wasn't gold or stone. It was a language. Over 4,000 inscriptions found on seals, pottery, and tablets, each bearing strange, compact symbols. No more than five characters per line. No grammar. No known alphabet. No bilingual texts. Decades of attempts, from the British Raj to modern linguists, have failed. The mystery remained impenetrable. How could a civilization so advanced leave behind no readable record? What kind of culture hides behind these undeciphered marks? And why, despite everything, did it stay silent? The breakthrough didn't happen in a desert ruin or dusty archive. It began inside a digital mind. In 2023, a team of computational linguists and AI researchers from institutions across India and the West fed thousands of high-resolution images of Indus script into a deep learning model. At first, the goal was modest. Identify recurring symbols, cluster them, maybe spot patterns invisible to the human eye. But as the system absorbed more data, something unexpected happened. The AI began to predict the next symbol in incomplete inscriptions with uncanny accuracy. Like a child learning to read, it recognized sequences, positions, and contextual links. A symbol found only at the end, another that always came first. But the real shock came when the AI linked these patterns to agricultural cycles, trade records, and even religious rituals, comparing them with proto-Dravidian root structures and ancient Tamil syntax. For the first time, researchers weren't just looking at symbols, they were hearing whispers from the past. Was the AI guessing? Or had it started to read? The race to decode the Indus script became a battle of method versus mystery. Led by Dr. Meena Sundaram, a computational linguist fluent in ancient Dravidian tongues, and Dr. Rajiv Desai, an AI ethics specialist, the team combined archaeology, linguistics, and machine learning into a single mission. Their lab looked less like a historical research center and more like a command station. Rows of servers humming, walls covered in symbol maps, timelines, trade routes. But every insight led to more complexity. The script had no vowels, no punctuation. Many signs appeared only once. Traditional linguistics failed. Statistical models offered only probability. 
Critics warned of overfitting, of the AI hallucinating meaning. Worse, some inscriptions were worn, broken, missing critical symbols. But then came a breakthrough. A set of seals found near Lothal, preserved in near-perfect condition, showed recurring patterns matched by the AI in over a dozen different cities. The model didn't just see symbols, it traced syntax, something human minds had missed for a century. The AI wasn't just decoding, it was translating context. The final proof came not in symbols, but in meaning. Using a neural network trained on ancient Tamil and Elamite, the AI reconstructed entire phrases, some as short as greetings, others resembling inventories or ritual statements. But one inscription stood out. Found on a seal from Mohenjo-Daro, the AI translated it as water received from the mountain, stored by the priest of the third sun. A poetic phrase, yes, but layered with information. It referenced water management, a religious figure, and a calendar system unknown to historians. Cross-checking with geological records, researchers confirmed that the Indus cities did indeed receive water from Himalayan runoff. The third sun corresponded to a solar cycle previously identified in Vedic texts centuries later. The inscription wasn't just a translation. It was a timestamp, a convergence of myth, science, and language. This wasn't guesswork. It was linguistic archaeology, rooted in AI logic and historical consistency. And when the team tested the model on dozens of other seals, the translations held. The machine had done it. The voice of the Indus Valley had returned. Imagine a society where priests were also engineers, where language wasn't just spoken, but carved, calculated, encoded into trade and ritual. Thanks to the AI translations, we now see the Indus Valley civilization not as a silent mystery, but as a deeply literate, highly organized culture. Their script was functional, used in agriculture, taxation, astronomy, even urban planning. One inscription referred to a festival of lights and rain, predating Diwali by 2,000 years. Another detailed grain storage units with mathematical precision. Cities like Harappa weren't just populated. They were administered, documented, controlled through symbols now readable for the first time. The AI revealed regional dialects, localized variations, and a timeline of language evolution across centuries. Suddenly, the Indus people had names, professions, beliefs. They spoke of trade with distant lands, honored water and the stars, governed through a codified system. This wasn't a lost civilization. It was a suppressed chapter in the story of humanity. What we thought was silence was structure. What we mistook for mystery was mastery. For centuries, the Indus script stood like a wall, unreadable, untouchable, unconquered. Now, with circuits and code, a machine has unlocked what human minds could not. The lost language of the Indus Valley was never truly lost. It was waiting, hidden not in myths, but in data, protected not by time, but by complexity. And now, decoded, it rewrites what we know about human intelligence. The idea that writing began in Mesopotamia? Shaken. The notion that language evolved linearly? Disrupted. This discovery doesn't just illuminate the past. It challenges our future. If an AI can decipher the silent voices of a dead civilization, what else could it unveil? Forgotten histories? Buried truths? Alternate timelines? We're no longer just studying the past. We're listening to it. And what it says changes everything. If you found this as mind-blowing as we did, like this video, subscribe for more revelations, and check out our other episodes where ancient secrets meet future tech. The past isn't gone. It's encrypted. And we've only just begun to crack the code.